Technology has changed our daily lives, of course, from the way we speak to each other to the way we look at the world around us. Well, new technology like social media has changed the way we receive our news. And no one knows that better than our digital team here at ABC7. Digital producer Chloe Conboy joins us with a closer look at our digital coverage. Chloe, I don't want to embarrass you, but I will say it was probably before your time, before social media certainly, that you know news used to just be aired once a, a few times a day. Mm -hmm. So people had to wait. Now that's all changed. Yes, definitely. Well, what's so great about being a digital producer at ABC7 is we get to give everyone their news in real time. Instead of waiting till the 4, 5, or 6 p.m. newscast, we can send an alert to your phone if you have the ABC7 app or what we usually do is do Facebook Lives, which is a kind of behind the scenes as the news is developing, telling everyone the stories and kind of updating them with the information they need to know before going into our newscast. So, so that cool. would kind of changed a little bit. Like if there, if there was an accident on 75 mm -hmm. at 2 in the afternoon, it used to be, okay, join us at 5 p.m. Yeah. And, at the news and we'll, te we'll tell you what's happening. But that's not the case anymore. At 2 o'clock, you can give a live update. Exactly, yeah. Definitely not anymore. We can definitely update our viewers in real time and tell them right as soon as the news is happening, when there is breaking news, um, when there are car accidents, we have a first alert traffic update we send to people. So it's great because we just really get to notify the viewers in real time. And you take it so seriously. It's so <coughs> great to be, you know, Linda and I have been reporters for mm -hmm. decades, but to be here now and when something happens, Chloe and her team, they spring into action. Who's got yeah. the push alert? Who's got yeah. the story posted? Yes. Like, you can't get it out there mm -hmm. fast mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. It's really exciting. Definitely. And we are uh, at our TV sets all the time mm -hmm. now. Right. So I get most of my news on my phone now. Yep. Yeah, no, it's great. And the power of social media, too, behind Facebook. And we do so many Facebook Lives at the station, which I love doing them because we really get to have the reporters engage with the viewers and people can ask questions and comment in real time. And it gives us really good feedback for broadcasts too because we can kind of determine if the viewers like the story and if they want to see it on TV. So, Well, that's a great example of, our, of what we go talk about next. So it has not replaced, obviously, our, our news packages. And we had a recent one that everybody loved. Tell us about Tiny Houses. So uh, one of our reporters, Erica Jackson, we did a Facebook Live, like kind of a walkthrough of the new tiny homes on Siesta Key, their rental properties. And it did so well on our Facebook that when she was giving the walkthrough, um, we decided to use that story for broadcast. And it did absolutely amazing. The amount of people that watched the video, it had over 8,000 views on Facebook. It had over 400 comments. People were just eating it up. And it was almost like an HGTV-styled um, walkthrough <laughs> video. I mean, it was amazing. I loved it. It was great. She and did an awesome job. In this case, you really did kind of get the full perspective of what right. it looked like in that mm -hmm. home, you know, because she was even up in the loft at one point on her Facebook Live. So what does it make available for the reporters to use Facebook Live that they necessarily couldn't do when they were just shooting their packages? Well, I think with the reporters, you have such a time crunch in broadcast. Oh, so for Facebook Lives, it just really gives them the creativity to expand and being able to show everybody the whole story without being on that time crunch, mm -hmm. and then really being able to engage with the viewers. Because um, so many people during the Facebook Lives, they're commenting in real time. So it kind of gives them like, oh, okay, they want to see more of the outside of the tiny home. So they'll be sure to use that for broadcast. Oh. That they'll, you know, be able to take their advice and listen to them. So Stephanie talked earlier about how people will be watching, you know, the games still with their phones in their hand. Mm -hmm. Talk about our debates that are happening here at ABC7 and how the digital aspect is coming into those. Yes, so at ABC7 News at 7, Alan Cohn has the political debates. And so coming up on Monday, October 1st for the Florida State Senate race for District 23, it'll be Sarasota Democrat Olivia Babis and uh, Sarasota Republican Joe Gruters. We're going to be Facebook living the event. So viewers will actually get to be able to see how the two um, candidates will interact um, during commercials, in between breaks, and stuff like that. So it gives you really a different perspective than just on TV when, mm -hmm. you know, they're on camera, they look super great, and then, you know, behind the scenes and behind the camera, you get to see how they act. So it'll oh, be really interesting. Oh, I don't want to miss this one. <laughs> yes, it's so great. And I love it. I know Alan has expressed that on commercials, he can get feedback from mm, viewers about questions or topics that they might want asked on air when we come back from commercial. Exactly. So after every ABC7 debate is what we do is we post the debate on our Facebook and a lot of the viewers were like wow thank you so much for posting the debate now I know who I'm gonna vote for just from us posting it on Facebook so it's great we're glad that we can you know help out the viewers and show them the candidates and show them you know what points they stand for well so. and the fact that the viewer can write in and say well I want to know what he thinks about the you know the gambling issue here in Florida mm -hmm. and then that can be 
portrayed as mm -hmm. a question. Exactly, and then Alan can you know look at the questions again in real time and be like, hmm, okay, the viewers want to know about this or how they stand on this or on these issues. So he can really take that into consideration and they can work their debates around the viewers' comments. So. It's almost like a digital town hall in, yeah. in some yes. ways because yes. you can watch and then contribute. And I know you also love when our viewers send in their photos and videos and uh, you want them to continue doing that. So of course yes. if you send those to pics at mysuncoast.com, Chloe and her hardworking team can incorporate them into our newscast. I know we've been very lucky with some lightning photos yes. from, uh, from several of our viewers. So uh, Yes, we love getting your guys' photos. Keep sending them to pics at mysuncoast.com helps so much with all of our social media. That's great. Well, Chloe, thank you. Such hard work and uh, keep it coming. You can find us online, suncoastview.com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can contribute all of your great stuff and we love to hear your view. All right, don't go away. Our wow one day painting green room has been turned into a dance studio. We'll get a preview of a ballroom dance showcase this weekend.